Hi, I'm Michelle from Adult and Teen Services at Morley Library, and I'm here to talk about The Hideaway by Lauren K. Denton. The Hideaway takes place in, in current times, and it's one of those books about strong women who aren't what you thought they were. Um, there are two main characters in this book. Mags is the central character. She comes to the hideaway as a young woman in her 20s, and she never leaves. She stays, despite a lot of people trying to get her to go back to her original home. Eventually, the proprietor of the hideaway, which used to be a very famous resort in Sweet Bay, Alabama, gives up. The place is no longer profitable. It's filled with homeless elderly artists who are enjoying a free stay. And Mags is left the building and she makes a go of it. Now Mags is not who she seems. Mags has a granddaughter who is the second main character in this book. Sarah lives in New Orleans and she has her own high-end antique shop. She does design work with antiques and um, is well known in New Orleans for doing beautiful makeovers of people's homes. Mags hasn't been to see her grandmother for a while, even though it's just a few hours to Sweet Bay from New Orleans. And she gets a call that her grandmother has passed away. Gra Sarah packs up her bags and she's going to spend just a few days in Sweet Bay, Alabama to get ready to sell the place. She finds out that she's the owner of it. She realizes that maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. All sorts of things begin to happen and she starts to clean the place up and she meets the people who live there and they're all worried about being displaced. And lo and behold, she starts to investigate who was Mags. She doesn't really know her. Sarah's mom and dad had died in a car accident. Her mother was Mags' one and only child. And the, Sarah was only 11 when this happened, so she really doesn't remember much about her parents. And Mags really doesn't tell her a whole lot. Sarah didn't like growing up at the hideaway. The kids in school made fun of it as an old folks home. And she really didn't have a lot of friends. And as soon as she could, when she went to college, she left and she didn't come back to Sweet Bay. So as she's cleaning and trying to decide what to do with this huge mansion that once was a well-regarded and well-sought-after resort place, she begins to understand her grandmother a little more, and she makes some surprising discoveries about who her grandmother was and who she is. I really enjoyed this book because it wasn't maudlin. It wasn't sweet and sappy. It was real people, not rich people, not people with the best in life, but people who had made a life and were happy with what they made. I enjoyed it. I hope you'll take a moment and look this book up, either download it or get it off the shelves at Morley, and enjoy it yourself. Thank you.